It's just broader, you know, this movie's just a bit, it's just broader, it's a bit bigger, it's a bit, it's mainstream, you know, it kind of makes, it, it allows you that if you didn't see the first one, you can come back into this movie and know exactly what's going on because we catch you up. And it just kind of, there's more explosions, there's more, there's just more stuff going on. Minnie McCready is a young girl who you first meet her in the first movie when she's 11 years old and she has her dad who's played by Nick Cage and basically you realize that she's been raised as a vigilante her entire life and really knows no different and killing is like a comic book and it's a, it's a game for her and then she loses her dad in the first film and then you come back into the second film meeting her four years later when she's you know 16 well, five years later when she's 16 years old and she's basically figuring out her life and now she got adopted by her dad's best friend who's now a cop. She realizes that she is a vigilante and she just wants to bring justice into the world and so she just can't watch bad people walk through her life. So she basically gives justice to the girls and, and you know, rights the wrongs. And she realizes that she's not a killer. She doesn't do it for fun. She does it because she really does want the world to be a better place. Mindy looks at it as real life. She looks at it as real death because what she's doing is she is, you know, she knows how to kill people. She's not playing around when she arrests people. She kills them. So with Dave, he just goes and beats people up and like, it's like, oh, I'm going to show you a, you know, a lesson. Whereas Mindy really does enforce things. The battle between Mother Russia and I is, is very, very intense. And it took, God, like two weeks to film and it was, it was insane. 